I visited Mother Teresa's mission in Calcutta, where she and her missionaries of charity touched the lives of tens of thousands of vulnerable people. And next, a remarkable story of two individuals from very different worlds whose paths crossed at that orphanage. Gautam Lewis was abandoned by his birth parents as a small child. He was suffering from polio and was taken in by Mother Teresa. Because of my disability, it meant I couldn't just run around. So there was many days and hours of just being in the cot and not really having a childhood like you would imagine someone at kindergarten to have. Dr Patricia Lewis, then volunteering in Calcutta at a rehabilitation centre for children, regularly visited Mother Teresa's children's home. When I met Gautam first, he was five years old, and he had had polio probably since he was about 18 months. And he was, so he was immobile most of the day. And I had worked out that this foreign person, I could get her attention by playing with the cats. His favorite way was to grab the cat because he knew I loved the cats, so he would make me come running. I soon started to form a nice bond with her. And I don't know, but maybe because I was so used to surviving, I saw her as my way out. So maybe I made her want to love me, <laughs> if I can say that. Why would I, my sort of mid-twenties single person just about to begin her career, adopt a child? But I loved him. He was lovely. He was such a cute kid. He was so funny and intelligent and sweet and, yeah, it just made sense. Everything that Patricia has done for me is beyond amazing. And if I could be a little bit of what Patricia is, then I'd be very happy. Patricia's choice changed Gotham's life beyond recognition. He was educated at England's best schools and would later work as a pilot and a photographer. I was once one of India's poorest with very little hope of a future, but I became one of England's luckiest. There has to be some form of a miracle that connected my life path to cross with Mother Teresa's at that point in time. When I went to visit Mother Teresa's tomb, I found it very hard to hold back the tears. There was a very strange, it's almost like an electrical, there was some electricity feeling that was going around my brain. And I don't know what it is, maybe she knew I was sitting there and she was just trying to say hello. Mother Teresa had this spiritual connection with people that she saw in them, the life of Christ, the suffering, the spirit, and connected with that. And I am just one of thousands of children around the world who has been given a place of feeling safe and loved. Yeah. 